Uranus has 27 known moons and are divided into three groups. The smaller inner satellites, the five major moons, and the small outer moons that rotate backwards. Many are named after William Shakespeare's characters and the smaller moons are less than 200 kilometers across. They are called shepherd moons and they keep the particles of the thin ring in place. Two of these moons are Cordelia and Ophelia. Cordelia is the innermost moon orbiting the inner ring and is 40 kilometers in diameter. It was discovered in January 20, 1986 and was one of the 10 moons that were discovered when the Voyager 2 spacecraft flew by the planet and transmitted images. Ophelia is 42 kilometers in diameter. It was discovered at the same time as Cordelia and it orbits the planet's outer ring. The major moons are cold, icy worlds. Miranda is unique because it has different types of terrain from different time periods. There are ancient terrains, degraded craters, and much younger, smoother layers. It is 480 kilometers in diameter and is the smallest out of the five major moons. It has the largest known cliff in the solar system called the Verona Rupes, which has a height of over five kilometers. It might have started to evolve, but was stopped before it was completed because its internal heat was not hot enough. Ariel is composed of carbonaceous compounds like water ice and rock. Its interior consists of a rocky inner core surrounded by a mantle of ice. Some of its craters are partially submerged, which could also mean a younger surface and a possibility of geologic activity. It is 1,162 kilometers in diameter and is the brightest and most reflective of the planet's moons. It is second closest to the planet, orbiting at a distance of 190 kilometers. Four Voyager 2 images were combined to produce this image of Ariel in 1986. The spacecraft was 130,000 kilometers away when the photographs were taken. Umbriel is the darkest of the major moons and reflects very little light. Many astronomers actually thought that it was smaller because of this, but the moon is slightly larger than Ariel and is 1,169 kilometers in diameter. So far, this is the only image that we have of Umbriel, which was also taken by the Voyager 2 in 1986. At the time of its flyby, the southern hemisphere of the moon was pointed towards the sun and the northern hemisphere was in the dark and could not be studied. It mainly consists of ice and rock and is covered by many impact craters reaching 210 kilometers. One of these craters is called Wanda and has a ring of bright material on its floor which may be an impact deposit or a deposit made of carbon dioxide ice. Oberon has an icy surface that is dark and reddish in color caused by space weathering. This occurs when the surface is hit by charged particles and micrometeorites as the solar system ages. It is 1,523 kilometers in diameter. The moon is covered in craters and one of these craters is called Hamlet with a diameter of 296 kilometers. There is also a mountain about 11 kilometers high at the lower left side of the moon that could be a central peak of a large impact basin. Titania is made up of mainly rock and ice like Ariel and Umbriel and is covered with impact craters. There are large cracks that cut into the craters suggesting an active interior in the past or it might have been a result of Titania's surface cooling down before its interior. When the interior began to cool, it expanded and formed a rift of valleys and faults that we see today. The moon has no atmosphere or weather. Titania is the planet's largest moon and has a diameter of 1,578 kilometers. If you're standing on its surface, Uranus would appear 20 times larger in the sky of Titania than our moon does here on Earth. 
Currently, there are no plans to send a spacecraft to Uranus and its moons in the near future. But there are proposals to send small CubeSats, which are miniaturized satellites to reduce the cost of getting a spacecraft out that far. They will be deployed to orbit the planet and its moons including Miranda, Umbriel, and Oberon. This mission would give us more information about the planet's magnetic field, its tilt, and as well as its composition and formation of its moons. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.